Because he's a buyer to men. Or she's a buyer to men. Yeah, it's part of the Whitmore Trust that I inherited when my parents died. Mm. Yeah, don't hold that against me. Usually when people find out that my name's Aaron Whitmore. Well, yeah. your last name's Whitmore? So you, like, own the school? Yeah. Yeah. That's my dad. Grayson Gilbert was one of the best doctors the Augustines ever had. <gasps> He was in on it? Yeah, that kind of makes sense. What the hell? It's time for you to deal with the source of your PTSD. I'm sure you're not just sublimating your feelings about what happened to Jesse last night. Feelings? What feelings did I have about my best friend killing the guy I was crushing on? So now... You're gonna try it my way. Oh boy. Can fill it up with some water? They're still together. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Your man. Hi. David, are you? Fine. Why are you here? Why am I here? Wes is carrying out the grand Augustine tradition, getting his kicks off that architecture. I've been here before. Someone in my family sold me out to the Augustines in 1953. 
Every day, this nut job doctor went more tortured us, cut into us, took pieces of our eyes out, pushed us to every limit you can imagine. How long were you here? Five years, give or take. Oh, wow. How did you not go crazy? Believe it or not, I made a friend. Welcome. Dr. Whitmore never gets tired of watching us vampires here. But he gives us one ounce of blood per day, just enough to keep us alive. Pick yourself up, soldier. Uh, Who's this? Uh, it's Enzo. Enzo? Oh, he's a soldier away. in Europe during World War II. How did he end up here? Dr. Whitmore was working in a battlefield hospital when he discovered Enzo was a vampire. So he drugged him, locked him in a coffin, and shipped him overseas. Yeah. He'd been here for 10 years by the time I joined the party. Oh, uh, wow. You're doing it wrong. For the future. What future? The one where you get your revenge. For instance, in my future, my revenge will start with killing Whitmore's dog and mailing it to his house. First, it's due. I can see it. I know that my dad was a vampire hunter. He was also the town doctor. That kind of makes he sense. He was kind and gentle and loving. To you, because he wasn't a vampire. You would be part of a place that would cut your eyes out. Well, why are they doing this to, 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 to for, for research? For science. For science. Um, I'm making a prediction. I think that um, a Ron is going to help me out. Maybe. Okay, you're out here. to get over the root of his problem because right now the score is safe one step in zero it's like, like saw or something I'm gonna play a game. Didn't, <laughs> how did you survive all those years his friendship kept me alive he gave me a reason to hang on to my humanity i was surprised i didn't take the ring with that should have jaggers myself convertibles are the kind you take on a sunday drive to impress a pretty girl you pretty girls. Ah, uh, too many to count. Actually, there was one. Her name was Maggie. She used to sit here in the hallway taking notes while she was with me. That's how you fell for her? Uh, she was also stunningly beautiful. Uh, uh, you have to understand, she, she wasn't part of the torture and the experiment. Who's next? Zero five one. You seem to have more energy. I take that as an insult. He can't just like yeah, break his neck right now. Yeah. 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 I can understand you from a cellular level. I can put you to use. I was surprised he didn't even care about the rain that you gave able to walk in the sunlight. I never told him what happened here. Oh boy. It is where Dr. Whitmore had to show all of his Augustine friends what he found in his research. This is Fowler. He let his guests drink from us to demonstrate the healing power of vampire blood. But on the plus side, that's how Enzo came up with his plan. One vampire would have drank two rations every day for the next year to be able to build up his strength. Oh. His eve comes around again. That one vampire will be ready to fight. You have to choose between us. Yeah, who's gonna drink the two you were dead? Oh, demon one. Then you'll lead the way. Here's my Russian. How did you get out? Doesn't matter, Elena. Out. Was it pretty? Why do you know? And it will be campground when my parents died. Those parents? It wasn't an animal attack, was it? As soon as I saw them, I knew the vampires had attacked them. Yeah. Uh, maybe because you were so fucking torturing them. Could never happen. Yeah, they were revenge. It was the only way. Let me out of here! Paralyzed! I 
I know it's a little extreme, but the baby steps approach wasn't working. See, that's why I need you not to get mad at me. Because oh, when you get mad, she wants to die. you get anxious and violent, save her. and you rip people's heads off. Yeah. But I'm gonna help you fix that. <laughs> you need to get over your PTSD <laughs> triggers, okay? Or else you will kill me. You're risking your life. I'm already dying, you idiot. Yeah. You're the one who wants to keep me alive. Your stuff in Salvatore. Suck it up. No, no. So what out of here. I love you, and these people tortured you for five years. Whatever you have to do, I don't care. The Odyssey's next party was in 1958. I've been drinking Enzo's rations for an entire year. I mean, he kept a few drops here and there so he wouldn't desiccate. And as he starved himself, I got stronger from all the extra blood. Five years, I'd be thinking the same exactly thing. what I did. Damon, when was the last one? A few months ago. Oh, Sarah. Oh, this cousin. Lisa went all the way to Charleston to find 
We can trip. You didn't know. But we were together a few months ago. We are. We're in the summer of our lives. I had no idea. I told you I wasn't free. Yeah. No! I guess you were right all along. It was easier for me to focus on my physical pain than the breakup. I need to move on. I guess so gotta let it burn. We're gonna hook yeah. up! I don't, I don't mind it actually. Whatever! Yeah. Elena's with Damon, whatever. He wants to fuck wherever he wants to go yeah. ahead. Is together? Or no? I mean, she needs to change her personality for Damon, or for Stephanie to get together. Shit either. You could have let her at least her out. Oh, oh him. Enzo. Oh, two, four, four. Yeah. My name's Enzo. Damn, he's been in torture for sixty years. God, yeah, because he was in that ten years before him, so yeah. like seventy years. Yeah. Oh my God, I feel bad for Enzo. Now, if if I was Enzo and Enzo in the Buna plan, I said all for you. You've been there for fucking seventy years, getting oh, tortured. No. Yeah, you can kill all the women you want. I feel really bad. Yeah. I had a feeling he was still because. Uh, oh, I called it. If you don't see a yeah, death, then the probably the probably not dead. Yeah. Um. Actually, um, I would say this episode was probably my favorite this season, um, because I don't know. We got a little bit more about. I don't know. I like the past stuff. Every time you show the past, I always find it interesting. Yeah. And. You can see that Damon didn't really change. I mean, even though we like to think he is, but a couple months ago he killed another person, you know, for his revenge. Granted, I mean, I'll be a little petty too. If well, I he had this years. is a revenge he's gonna do yeah. for the rest of his life. Yeah. So, so, I mean, I think one that girl, takes a lot of commitment. That takes a lot of time. Yeah. For him to do all this. He also heard in the cell that was that was the way he was able to get through it. You know, he was plotting. Yeah. His, I, is, um, I get. It. I'm just saying yeah. that takes a lot of effort to yeah. to do this for the rest yeah. of your life. But again, you also get the thing. He's getting his eyes and everything turned out. So I'll be petty as shit and say I'm gonna kill every fucking person too and leave one person alive and come back and kill him again. Personally, I probably won't take it that far. But I would just kill them all right then and there. You know. Well, I wouldn't do his entire family. I would just kill the people who knew about what, what was happening to me, and um, the guy that did it. I, can, can, couldn't he just like taking him hostage and torture him and then bring him back to life and torture him and well no I, I mean I guess you could do that too but personally do me, what he did to yeah, me personally me say if I was a vampire and I was captured for five years and hell I would be a little evil I would just kill the whole fucking family and that's it I wouldn't like, yeah but some people alive. but maybe they didn't know about it and you're just killing innocent people. Yeah, again, I'm a vampire. At that point in my life, I'll be fucking evil and just kill them. You know? mm, okay, be... well, you can do what you want, yeah. but I'm not going to do that. Yeah, you know? Um, that's just me, personally. Um, I mean, shit, baby. I, see, you'd be salty after getting your fucking, like, I'm not going to kill someone who had no idea what was happening to me. I think, no, because then... It's sort of like how history is reported, you know, like how... Like they say races are like still alive. They the kids get told by the parents, you know, and they grow up to hate like other races or stuff. It's sort of like that. Or the lineage is always passed on by the kids. Well, if you kill the kids, then that shit can't happen no more to no one else. You know? Like the tradition cannot be passed on. Yeah, like, but if they don't if they if they have no we don't know that. We don't know if the, everyone that he killed knew about this. Maybe some people who had no idea. But again, if I was a vampire, I'm not going to play the what if game. I'm just going to cut my losses and kill all of them. Well, that's know? the difference between you and me. Yeah, then. I guess I'm yeah, not doing yeah, that yeah. shit. I'm going to say it. If I was an evil vampire, that's what I would do. You know? um, but as 
the episode as a whole, I think it's really good that Stephen and Caroline got together, or Car Stephen and Catherine got together because I think they both need, you know, some hookup sex. They, she, they're both going through some shit. They just need to, you know, figure it out. Um, yeah, but I'm excited to get into the next episode, to be honest. No. I'm curious what Enzo was going to say. But it looked like he was being like a robot. Or maybe he turned it off. Yeah, he turned his emotions, his emotions off. off. So he... Yeah. Uh, he was either song. he'll be salty when he sings Damien again. Yeah. Or he'll um, just not care. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, if you guys want to get the full reaction, feel free to check the picture now. The link in the description down below. And we'll catch you guys next week. Bye. Hey.